Hey guys, Brian back here with another Cardano update. All right, I, you know, I am a long-term believer in this coin. All right, but we're just gonna look at the fundamentals here with this thing. Okay, I think it just, uh, I think the number one, the dust needs to settle with this SEC thing. All right, this, uh, it, uh, I think a lot of panic kicked in out there. But what I find is pretty interesting. You know, if you zoom in here, all right, and look at the volume. Okay, look at this massive volume back through here. That little tiny red candle down there, you know, this is on trading view. I use uh, this for all my charting, but uh, we, you know, I don't see a lot of panic that that kicked in as far as selling when this SEC uh, thing came in. All right, Charles Hoskinson came out. Obviously, them Coinbase, uh, you know, they're all they're all going to fight this Binance. Um, you know, so the same thing happened with XRP. Once the dust settled. Uh, look at that coin now. I remember when that happened in uh, 2020 right before Christmas uh, Pretty devastating at the time, but all right, let's take a look at this thing. Okay. It lost this wedge pattern All right number one. Okay, we but this is on the weekly chart. All right, so let's take a look at some RSI's here number one All right this weekly RSI for Cardano, the stochastic, is almost down at the bottom. It's at a 13 and a 26. Probably going to take another week or two for this thing to fully reset. All right, the monthly, uh, the monthly, you know, if we could get that weekly headed up, the monthly's at a 32 and a 33. It's It, it has flipped over bearish, but it can very easily flip back over bullish, okay? Um, but right now it is it is pointing towards the downside something I find pretty interesting here okay well number one I want to show you guys something uh, obviously Bitcoin runs this market and then we're gonna jump back over here because this is all gonna tie in together all right you can see Bitcoin has regained this wedge pattern it ended up falling out of this thing uh, yesterday and it has regained it okay you can see it fell down out right down through here and it has regained that wedge back okay another thing we have going for us here is the DXY I've been charting this uh, DXY for months now okay this thing is actually rolling over all right it got up to that 786 fib zone you can see right up there got right up to that 786 and it's been rolling over ever since okay and this is on the four hour if you go into weekly you can see what happened here with this thing all right this thing was running this support up right through here okay came down got rejected then and now it's made a lower high on the weekly if we zoom in there you can see that a little bit better Okay, so if it breaks that 100.8, this level right at the bottom of this fib, if it breaks that, boy, uh, could definitely send this crypto market flying, okay? A falling DXY means rising crypto prices. And we also have the Dow Jones. Uh, the Dow Jones is actually uh, breaking out of a long time wedge pattern here. All right, this is on the weekly chart. You can see that uh, the green candle right there, the breakout. All right, the measured move of this thing would be right up around 41.3 something. So, and things are looking good as far as the market goes. Now, as far as ADA goes, is this thing doing an ABC correction down? I've been looking at this thing, okay? Uh, if we take a measurement on this, if you get any of you guys out there use FIBS, if you could, please hit the like and subscribe. I would appreciate that so very much, guys. This could actually be, be just a move that was going to play out anyway, all right? Not... Uh, if you take a Fibonacci and put it on this, it goes right to that 702, right there, okay? Usually that means, you know, I'm not uh, no Nostradamus, I don't predict anything, I'm just showing what the charts are showing me here. The measured move for this, if it was, if this is an ABC, okay, is right down there. Okay, now let's put a line there. Let's stick with me here, because this could, you know, this could have all just been coming anyway. We put a line there. Let's get that off there. Clean this up a minute. Let's look and see if this uh, ties into any price levels here. All right? Yeah. Of course it does. Right back here. Okay. So, eleven and a half cents. Could we hit that? Uh, let's see what the measured move of this wedge would be. All right. Let's get a measurement. 
see if these uh, tie in together or not. We'll take it right from there to there. What do you think? I don't know. We'll see what happens here, okay? But right now we got Bitcoin looking bullish. Bitcoin has regained that wedge. If uh, we have this weekly RSI for ADA still coming down here, all right? Is this where we bounce? Is this where we bounce hard? Okay, we got that, that weekly RSI. We all know with uh, weeklies, we can get some massive, massive moves out of uh, out of these things on the weekly, okay? The last time on the weekly, uh, Cardano made, let's see what it was. You know, made a 86% uh, move, okay? So that's then that's small for a weekly and this weekly hasn't been reset since uh january all right so you could even go back further than that the last time it started up was uh the, right after christmas was the last time we were down at the bottom so this thing gets down to the bottom again we'll see what happens here guys i'm not giving up on ada i totally believe in this coin i don't think it's finished this uh, this would be a measured move for an ABC, and it's the measured move of losing this wedge, and they both tie in exactly the same. We got the weekly RSI coming down still, so this could have all been in the works anyway. All right, so um, not financial advice, not a financial advisor. Hang in there. We'll get through this. We always do. All right, I got uh, ADA for uh, four cents the last bull run. It went up to three bucks. So I. I don't believe this thing is even close to dead. All right, guys, have a great night. I'll talk to you soon.